Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what is currently going on with you in love? What is currently going on with you in love? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at your energy first, Capricorn, and then I'm going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, so whoever that person is, just think about them right now. And let's see what messages we get. I'm sorry for the lawnmower. Someone is mowing the lawn. All right. Um, just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's look at your energy spirit. Show me the energy of Capricorn, please, in regards to love. What is the current energy of Capricorn in regards to love? Alright Capricorn, first card we have here is the Six of Wands in Reverse, the Four of Swords in Reverse, and the Tower card in Reverse. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look here. All right, so I feel like you're a little bit restless. I get this energy of feeling restless or maybe anxious, um, scared, I also want to say. Um, and it might be related to this tower card because this tower card is very scary. It is in reverse, so I feel like there's something that you don't want to, um, you don't want it to end. You don't want it to be destroyed. Yeah. Six of Wands is in reverse. Your confidence is very low. Um, yeah, your optimism is very low. You're feeling a little bit um, defeated, I want to say. And with the Four of Swords in reverse, it's like you're having a hard time um, balancing yourself, balancing your emotions and your, and your thoughts. Um, when it's in reverse, it's, it means you're feeling restless and anxious. It's like you're waiting for disaster to strike at any moment. You don't know when it's going to strike, but you feel like it's going to strike at any moment, you know. All right, let's clarify these cards. Spirit, tell me more about the Six of Wands, please. And we have the Tower card in reverse again. And we have the Seven of Pentacles upright. Yeah, so again, it's this energy of you. Um, it's like you're hoping here that something doesn't end. Um, because you feel like you've invested a lot of your... Uh, energy, a lot of your time or a lot of your efforts into something, or you've placed a lot of your hopes into something, and um, you don't want it to go to waste, you don't want it to be in vain, um, so with the tower in reverse, I feel like you are, um, it's like you're hoping that something doesn't end. But at the same time, it's like it's not in your in your control, you know. All right, let's clarify the Four of Swords. Tell me more about the Four of Swords, spirit. Thank you.
And we have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it's like you want a new beginning. It feels to me like you want this new beginning in love, this Ace of Cups. But it's in the reverse, so it's like all the water here is pouring out of the cup. Um, although it doesn't show it like that in this card. Um, it's defying gravity in this card, but that's what would be happening. The water inside of the cup is spilling out. Um, and I feel like you you don't want that to happen. I feel like you you still want this new beginning in love. Uh, Queen of Wands, you you're you're passionate about something or someone. You still have desire. Okay, let's clarify the tower. Tell me more about the tower, please. Thank you, Spirit. Tower in reverse. And we have the star. Yeah, this is the card I was feeling here. Um, with these two cards. The star, hoping. And the temperance card in reverse. Yeah, so you're struggling here. You're going back and forth between, you know, the star is hoping, believing, and the temperance card in reverse is feeling like um, there's no hope anymore. So part of you is hoping, the other part of you is feeling like there's no hope anymore, you know. You know, part of you feels defeated um, with the six of wands, and the other part of you is is hoping that you're wrong. It's like you're hoping that you're wrong about something. Yeah, you're you're hoping for a miracle. You're praying for a miracle. You're praying that this gets saved, this tower gets saved, and that it doesn't um, completely destroy itself. All right, so let's see the energy of whoever it is that you're dealing with in love. Spirit, um, show me the energy, the current energy of the person that Capricorn is connecting to in love, please. Okay, first card is the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Swords in reverse. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. So before I picked out the cards, I heard like the message, uh, you're praying for a miracle and you just might get it. I don't know where that came from so for some of you whatever it is that you're praying for here um i i heard the message that you're going to get that miracle that you were praying for okay just gonna put that out there all right looking at your person's energy we have the ace of swords so this is a card of truth and honesty i am noticing the heart around it so this can represent victory in love Nine of Swords in reverse represents untying yourself from restrictive, restrictive um, situations or restrictive people. Unti uh, liberating yourself from uh, obstacles or difficulties, challenges. Um, and we do have the Ace of Wands in reverse, which can represent... Um, I don't know what it represents in this combination, so let's go ahead and clarify before I say anything. Spirit, tell me more about the Ace of Swords, please.
Clarify Ace of Swords. Thank you. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. Let me get another card, Spirit, please. Ten of Swords in reverse. This can be different things. It can it can represent someone who is um, attached to somebody else. Someone who already has a family, I feel. And that might be the truth that they're telling you with the Ace of Swords, which is revealing a truth or communicating some kind of truth. You know, that Ten of Swords, something is not over for them yet. Um, I don't know if it's not over with you or with someone else. It could be a third party situation here where this person is still attached to someone else. But let me keep clarifying. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords, please. They already have a family or they, they already have a relationship. A commitment with someone else. Clarify Nine of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. Yeah. And the Four of Swords in reverse. That's the same card that you have. All right, I feel like this person maybe might be saying here like it's too late, you know. Um, you might be hoping here with the star card, Capricorn, but I feel like this person might be, for some of you, this person is saying it's too late. They're holding a grudge. I feel like they're they're being a little bit spiteful here with the Five of Swords. I feel like they're tell they're telling you, you know, you shouldn't have let me go. Yeah. Like you should have fought for me when you had the chance. So I feel like this person is blaming you for something. Let's clarify the ace of wands, please. And we have the moon, yeah. And the knight of cups in reverse. This person is upset, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, they're upset. They're shutting down is what I feel. Um, they're holding back emotionally from you. Um, I feel like this person kind of has... Uh, eliminated you or what do you call that like um, like they crossed you off of, of a list like if someone has a list and they crossed you out of the list like like you're no longer an option in love you know they don't they don't feel like they want to fight for this ace of wands in reverse um they feel like it's a waste of time. Um, definitely with the moon, this person is angry. Like, they're upset. They're angry. They're resentful. They blame you for something. They they feel like it's your fault. Um, yeah, so they, they're definitely, like, rejecting you is what I feel here. Um... They don't have any plans on moving forward towards you or reconciling. Yeah, they, they're basically in their mind. It's like this relationship is over in their mind. Um, now, with like I said, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I do feel like they might be... Um, with someone else, okay? They have another relationship here. And they're telling you the truth about that. 
that, you know, they've moved on to, to someone else. So even though you might have been hoping that the tower card, um, you know, this destruction um, could still be um, saved or rebuilt or restructured, I feel like this person is not um, is not willing to, you know, to save this relationship with you or to save this connection with you. So I feel like the tower is upright, even though it, it did came, came, it came out in reverse. But I feel like that's because you were hoping that it wouldn't um, completely end. But I feel like in this case, this person is just really angry. You know, they're really upset. Um, they're they're heavily holding a grudge against you. Okay, all right. So that's what I see here, Capricorn. I hope this made sense to you. I'm sorry it was negative here, um, but I hope it um, it gave you clarity and it was helpful. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you in my next video, Capricorn. Thank you. Take care.